I remember I posted on Instagram and you DM me, you know, we started talking, but I noticed that you had a couple comments on the Instagram post. And I think you said something like, you know, I ain't no slim, slim Jesus. And you said on stone. Now, from what I understand, that's a black peace stone term on stone. Is that correct? It's yeah. black peace stone, Titanic stone. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's what you guys are part of? Yeah. I'm Titanic. On stone. I'm Titanic stone for Sunday night. So sure. This BPSN. Like, like, like that's South what sea. we was talking about. Like global money, GME, and EBE. We just put it together. Like yeah. really, really global money. We black P stones, but we clicked up with EBE. It's, they Titanic. We Titanic. We all, we all brothers though. It's black going stones up and shorty and though. EBE. And EBE. Yeah, 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 and it's black P stones and EBE too. But yeah. yeah. Now, from from what I understand, you know, and I, and I talked to my homeboy. I think some of y'all know him. It's a dude named John Monopoly. I think the manager of GMEBE knows him. He used to be Kanye's old Yeah, manager. I heard him. So, so me, and him, me and him had a conversation about the Black Peace Stones and sort of what it is. So I guess T. Rogers, who used to be with the Black Peace Stones, went to LA and started that segment of the Bloods out there. Is that correct? I, I can't speak on that because I don't really know a lot about California and the Black. I know there's some stones out there in Cali. You know, I know there's some stones out there. You know, because when I went out there, I heard about them. You know, I, I, I can't really speak on more than that, though, because I ain't going to speak on nothing. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I understand there's some sort of connection because, you know, the whole five-pointed star thing and, and everything else. Like this that. shit go deeper than uh -huh. just, the, the you know, on stone, bro, because in Chicago, it's not, you know, it's not if you stone, you want us. No. Don't nobody. No, it's, 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 it's where you from, bro. You know, who you, who you with, man. You know, who... Who you honor, who you associate with, bro. I am Jimmy G M E B E. You know? So I'm 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 rocking with who I rock with. You know what I'm saying? Because they stones, that's not the reason that they is my brothers. They my brothers because we is one. G M E B E. You know? We trying to uplift this music shit, man. We not even trying to talk about no game banging, bro. When I talked to my man about this, he said he knew one other white member in the Stones, but you never really see that. All right, well, does he know me? Has he ever met me? He, 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 well, he knows of you, though. He knows of me. He said he, he, he said he has a home, but he had a homeboy he grew up with who was white, who was in the Stones also. But oh, okay. in general, he said he don't see that many, though. Oh, yeah, shit. You know, I don't know. I'm not really out here looking for another white motherfucker who was Stone. <laughs> You know, I'm not really, that's not really what I'm hunting for. My, my hunt is for a bag. I'm trying to check a bag. Oh, <laughs> Shout out Sauce so Walker. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's what I'm on trying stone. to do. So, on stone, nigga. Yeah. On stone. Yeah. I'm trying to check a bag. Oh, shit. That's really it, bro. But yeah, you not really don't, though. I mean, you don't. You don't. I, I ain't never seen one. You know, I look in the mirror every morning, but you know, that's about the only one I know. You know? In terms of hip hop, hip hop has really kind of been based in reality. You know, it's a little bit different than country music and, and rock and roll and so forth. Like Johnny Cash could say, I killed a man and watched him die and everyone knows he didn't kill anybody. But hip hop's a little bit different. And with Slim Jesus, he came out and said, I make all this stuff up. I don't, I don't live none of this life. All this is, is make believe. Right. Uh, but in terms of your point of view, how important is it in hip hop to be rapping about what you actually have experienced? Now, I'm not saying if you do a murder, you gotta talk about your murder, but if you grew up and experienced certain things, you and fake so forth, if you ain't talking about what you really is live. It, in, is it to be true in your lyrics? You not living what you rapping about. So why is you rapping? You should mark it at the top of your song before every song. This is a made up story. <laughs> <laughs> I listen to hip hop hey, to relate this to This little Chief Dinero, man. If if you gonna come out rapping, rap if if you not from the hood or you not in the field, you ain't been through no situation, don't rap, you shouldn't rap about it because you ain't giving up quite details the fans might want to hear anyway, you feel me? Uh, if, so. and they can and they can like determine if you really with it or not off that. Right. And also you shouldn't wanna be fake in this industry, you feel me? Because right. you gonna get fake, you can, it can you can get right, get exposed, you, get exposed. And you can lose your image. Why you walk around with security guard all day? Right, you know? I don't got no security, bro. Why you go to jail and get on PC all day? I don't got no security, bro. Why you wanna do this all day? 
That's I don't got no security, security, bro. I don't got no security. security. Either now. I'm security or one of them security. Period. I'm security right now. Mm. This is my interview. Mm. When you talk about the Stones in Chicago, they're not as big of a crew as the GDs. Oh, I don't the even GDs want people knowing crew. what I am or as what I do as far as these streets, bro. The police probably watching this interview. That's all I gotta say, bro. Like no, five. No. <laughs> the Stone, like hey. you, you probably don't fight. You probably think that as far as because you feel me. The GD, it's a lot of GDs that's getting a lot of exposure <laughs> right now, but. At the end of the day, you come to our city and you really live in it, you'll find that there's a lot of stones out here. You feel it's a lot of stones. Yeah, it's a lot of stones. It's a lot of stones. Bro. Certain it's areas, bro. Of, it's it's not even that many GDs. Like GDs is starting to get get rid of you ask me. You feel me? They they even starting <laughs> yeah. to be GDK now, you feel yeah, me? So, that's a lot of GDs. So like GDs GDK. like I don't even honor them. I don't Shout like, out. God, you know. These streets is Ain't real in Chicago, man. Once you start associating yourselves with certain things. You know, you guys are doing music, but when the street element comes into it also, sometimes it creates problems doing shows, traveling around and stuff like that, you know, in terms of navigating the politics of it all. Man, Do you think that, that that becomes a problem in terms of, you know, that, taking away no, from the music a little bit because of that? About. And no, it don't matter, yeah, bro, right. because everywhere I've been, everywhere I've gone, I've been showing love, bro, in other cities, bro. I, I, know, I know personally that the guys that... We going out of town, you know, when me and Nero went out of town, bro, to Cali, all they do is show love, bro, and they crips, you know. Fast, some man. some of them bloods, you know, <clears throat> it don't matter, bro. They all fuck with us, bro, off the strength that, you know, we real street motherfuckers just linking, you know, trying to make moves. And, and, and it's like a lot of people, they try to be cocky, you feel me? So yeah. when you try to be cocky and act like you that super, super man, uh, other people feel like, they can be, you feel me? They they can get at you, so they are trying yeah. to. So that's why a lot of people be avoided that show, like can't do shows and stuff. You feel me? Because they act cocky, and by them bringing that cockiness, it bring other people that hatred, dissing them, hatred, right? Oh, and people don't want to see them because they try to be too cocky. You feel me? We don't be cocky. You feel me? We come as how we come. You feel me? You feel like we cocky, then we cocky, but other than that, we coming as how we come. GMEB as a as a whole, as our people, as our personalities. So that's why we be good everywhere we go. We come with yeah, real. We be real, real gonna recognize real wherever we go. Chicago seems to be kind of an interesting place because I've, I've interviewed a lot of different people, a lot of different rappers. I've inter interviewed probably a thousand rappers over the course of my career. Okay. But it seemed like in Chicago, I've never interviewed so many rappers where there's been so many, so much murder around them in terms of like, you know, Chief Keef has had like two or three people, I think three people around, around his crew killed since he started rapping. I interviewed Lil Durk, he's had a couple people, he's lost a couple people. You know, I interviewed Big Low right before he got killed. Like, why do you think the violence is so bad in Chicago right now? Because uh, there's too much blood drawn. It's not even right now, bro. It's always been like this, When that bro. blood drawn, you... It just got the attention when the drill walk. music yeah. started really taking off. Like, that's when it got the exposure. But Chicago really been like this. Chicago. Once the structure went down in the gangs, then it really got torn over, you feel me? Because the gang don't matter no more what you is. It's, it's where you from, like Will said. Where you from, who you riding with, what crew, what block you from. Like, the gang, gang, like it, take a, it take a... It take a the gang situation, it take a little participation in it, but you feel me? It's really about what block you from and what you Cause at the end of the day- Like people lost their peoples in this shit. It yeah, just like, cause you oh, hear about- Just, just cause people you, lost their- Chicago, you know, they the lost their family in this shit. And they lost their peoples in this shit, man. Like, it's so deep through it, bro. You motherfuckers just don't know, bro. Chicago crazy, bro. Like. Man, you can ask any person. Ain't no squashing, ain't no squashing, no beef or none of that shit. You can ask Chicago any person in the city of Chicago. One word that can solve all that. One word that can solve all that in Chicago. The reason it won't never stop because everybody want revenge. Period. Yeah. Revenge, definitely. And revenge. it's a, and it's a lot that's of that's disrespect. A lot revenge. of disrespect. Yeah, Chicago. Because it's like you lose one of your people's, you hurt shit. So, and they lose one of their people's shit, they hurt too. So, and shit. They make songs. They, about. they thinking like shit. They gonna get them for motherfucker come get us. Or, you know, that's, how, that's how it is out here, bro. And then the fact that you do think about even letting it all day. They advertising that they killed your homie through music. So, that's right. making you even madder. So, why you think so? Some people getting smoked when they out, out here in the city. You know what I'm saying? Because. Motherfuckers is is angry, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers is mad, it's a lot you know, of when you it's a talk lot of about hatred. that shit. A lot of, like, murders in Chicago, bro, it's like, it's so regular, bro. Like, yeah. that shit happen any day, any time. It's probably a motherfucker dying right now, bro. Like, 
Yeah. This shit real, bro. Like that shit regular, bro. That's, it's not as exciting as sound. We like, to the shit now. When motherfuckers who not yeah. in Chicago, they hear that shit, they be like, damn, Chicago bad or Chicago this. But little do you know, man, to a this regular Chicago person, that's this regular, bro. To yeah, a regular yeah. Chicago person, bro, that's regular, bro. It's regular. It ain't nothing new, bro. That's why we don't jump to oh God, you know. Motherfuckers <laughs> is just. This how this how it is, man. This how it is, bro. So if you're not from here and you come here or you scared to come here or you a baffled by the numbers, hey, don't come enter here. Chicago with caution. Period. Don't stop. <laughs> enter with caution. Period. Enter with caution. Enter the east side with caution too. Don't stop. That's all I gotta say. For example, bands. How many of your friends have you lost to violence? Shit. Personally, that I really knew and and you know I fuck with hard. Probably like five. Three, yeah, four or five, four or five. And how old are you? I'm 20, I just turned 20. Anyone else that's hearing this right now from the outside that hears that five of your friends got killed would think that's crazy. Right, you right, you right. I see what you're saying, bro, you know? I see what you're saying, bro, and I, and I respect that you think that's crazy, that's sad, because it is sad, but at the same time, we not ducking, we still out here, four of those brothers is gone. And we gonna keep being out here until we reach the finish line, you know? The goal, you know? We trying to go global with this. This is not no drill rap. Like Vlad, you know, man, thing. just like man, just go look us up, bro. Just go look that go look that up, bro. Go look up GMEVE, -E, man. And you, you gonna, gonna understand see from like years back. You gonna see like it's a lot to this, man. You gonna see like it's a lot to this, bro. Like just go been look doing it up, bro. this. You feel like they've been doing this, they've been doing this, they've been hot. We've been doing this see. shit, bro. We views been views and all. Views like, and all. Go read the comments. We got hella fans from everywhere, bro. Like, man, bro. We just ain't got the recognition from you the industry that like, we need. Period. Shout out Benz, man. Shout out the whole movement, bro. Cause we coming, bro. We we taking off, bro. For real, bro. Go go look into this bro, shit, bro. Man. It's big, bro. I'm yeah, telling you, bro, it's, it's big, Vlad. Go look bro. this shit up. This aloe speaking, bro. G M E V E Aloe, bro. Go look that shit up, bro. Look that shit up, Vlad, bro. 100 shit, bro. Cause we, man, bro, we from the east side of Chicago, bro, where it's real that too, bro. 87 in Burley, 79th South Shore. You feel me? Like, it's this cracking. shit is, is, is real, bro. It's you feel cracking. Me? It's, nope. it's, it's something to this shit, bro. Our life is a movie, man. We, we got a real story, Vlad, for real, bro. It's real, bro. It's definitely real. There was a mutual friend in Dallas who had worked with Lonzo in some capacity as a DJ. Uh -huh. And uh, when the Boys in the Hood record started to get some, some action, yeah. uh, this dude brought those guys to Dallas. I ain't blow up because my shit look real and authentic. Not no fool, you know, foolery. Motherfuckers using CO2 guns and shit. Boy, nah, man, nah. <laughs> no, no, no. Nah, it ain't like that.